what's good youtube hey real quick before we get into the reason why you clicked on this video i just want to give a big shout out to y'all so we have reached over 200 subs i know it's not a crazy amount but it's a big deal to me and i thank and appreciate every single one of you that watches and supports the channel now let's get into the reason why you clicked on this video i can show you the world Na, 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 na. Jasmine Princess, why don't you take a ride on my magic carpet? I think that's how it goes. Or was he asking her to ride something else? <laughs> <laughs> Alright man, let me stop playing around. Now if you're broke like I am and you don't have the luxury to create multiple builds or you're just trying to save money, then you have clicked on the right video. Upgrading your player is expensive, buying VC can get expensive, and in a fantasy world I would just create multiple builds for whatever game mode I'm trying to play. So today I got 4 tall guard builds that you guys can use in whatever game mode that you guys play, whether you play the 2v2s, the 3v3s, the 4v4s, the 5v5s, the 6v6. <laughs> Naturally, you would create like a 6-1 or a 6-3 short guard build to run the 5v5, but they are a defensive liability. I'm not saying you can't get stops on those shorter guard builds. Against someone who knows what they're doing, you gonna catch that work. Anyways, man, I've talked too much. Let's get into the video. First build I have for y'all today is a 6-6 point guard. Position, you could go point guard, you could go shooting guard. Doesn't really matter. Choose whatever hand and jersey number you usually use. And like I said, 6'6", six, six, we're going to go minimum weight 180 pounds and 7'1 wingspan and then choose your body shape. Here are the stats and what y'all going to realize with all four of these builds is that I kind of set them up to how a lot of people play. So if you don't like the way I set up these attributes, obviously tweak it on your own to match your playstyle. To start off with, you have an 85 driving dunk, so you get limitless takeoff and posterizer on silver. You have a really high three ball, you have an 89, you get agent three on gold make it easier to hit those fades 78 pass accuracy i prefer this higher but 78 is actually still really good the sweet spot i've heard is like around 78 to 80 so this is actually really solid 91 ball handles you have a high ball handle 76 speed with ball you are 66 so you don't really get that many dribble styles because you know you could get this to 80 if you want but a lot of those dribble styles are kind of meant for 6-4 and shorter guards so i settled with a 76 speed with ball you have some decent defense 55 interior it's not crazy but you at least have some interior defense 80 perimeter which is pretty solid 91 steel you can get a lot of steals with that 75 block you get chased down on gold no rebounding again you're kind of a guard you don't really play big so i decided to just sacrifice rebounding you have a 75 speed if you don't like that obviously tweak it on your own however you want now this is the only reason why i included this 66 build is the acceleration 86 acceleration with gym rat if it works the same way with the plus four you would have a 90 acceleration you have seen all those guard builds the 61 and 63s with 90 acceleration and how fast they move because originally i wasn't going to include this build in this video but acceleration is so important this year especially when you're handling ball that among the tall guard builds 66 is the closest that can get to a 90 acceleration besides 65 but 65 had terrible stats and if you go six five you might as well go six four or six three you know i sacrifice strength you don't really need strength most of the time when you're playing guard 75 vertical to get those contact dunks off one and off two and then a solid 95 stamina next bill we have a six seven 180 pounds seven one wingspan obviously choose your body shape and you can see the stats are pretty much similar this is actually the build y'all saw in the intro this is the build that i'm currently working on and the reason why i prefer this build over the 66 is that the pass accuracy is actually a little higher it's at 80 you actually have a 95 steel so you get gold pickpocket but the downside with this build is that you actually get less badges compared to 66 and the highest you can get for acceleration is 84 at minimum weight next build we have is a 68 weight 180 pounds 71 wingspan and obviously choose your body shape now, if you're going to see with these stats, they're a little different from the 6'6 six, six or 6'7, six, but they're also a lot the same. You have better finishing with this build. You have an 80 driving layup and an 86 driving dunk, so you get gold limitless takeoff. Shooting is pretty much the same. You have an 89 three ball, and this is what I really like about this build. You get an 82 pass accuracy, and you have an 89 ball handle. You still get quick first step on Hall of Fame. You have a higher perimeter defense, but you only get a 90 steal with this wingspan, but you still get gold interceptor. You have an 84 speed, so you got decent speed, but you only get an 82 acceleration is the highest you can get on a 6.8 with minimum weight all right the last build i'm gonna show y'all is a 6.9 weight 185 pounds 
seven one wingspan and obviously choose your body shape i also wasn't going to include this build but six nines are meta this year they could honestly play in any position so you know i had to put one in there finishing is almost the same as the six eight but you get a 70 standing dunk so you actually get the elite standing dunk animations same three ball 89 three ball a slightly higher mid-range 82 pass accuracy 87 ball handle it's the highest you can get on a six nine and then 75 speed with ball you have an 88 perimeter defense which is pretty solid you only have a 78 steal you still get interceptor on silver if you want your steal to be higher you'd have to lengthen your wingspan but then you would have to sacrifice your three ball so in order to kind of make up for the steal i put my block up to 87 so you get silver anchor and you have a 73 defensive rebound so you actually can rebound a little bit with this build that's why i was a little hesitant to put this build on here because you know you have a high block you have some rebounding the stats are kind of starting to look like a lock or a big instead of a guard you have decent physicals 80 speed 81 acceleration it's the highest you can get on a 6'9 with minimum weight you know 42 strength i guess we're sacrificing strength but it goes up with your blocking your interior defense 75 vertical you know get those contact dunks and then a solid 95 stamina i can show you the world girl wait that's a dude oh wait no that's a female with short hair oh my bad i can show you the world come ride on my magic carpet boy if you don't get Hopefully, I've helped y'all find a tall guard build to play with instead of having to create multiple builds. Because we all know how expensive that gets. And honestly, man, at this point, they should just make 2K free to play of how much money we spent in game. Anyways, man, I hope y'all enjoyed your time here. You already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and turn on those bell notifications so you guys never miss a future video. I hope y'all have a happy holidays, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace. I said... I said peace on the outro and it's peace right there. The subliminals, yeah? Huh?